Here we are at Roosevelt Field for the start of the first game of Northtown's 1980 season. This is the classic rivalry between Northtown High School and Bishop Kenrick High. In the past four games which have been played between these two teams, Northtown has won two and Kenrick has won two. First game was won by Kenrick with a score of three to nothing. The second game was won by Kenrick with a score of 20 to nothing. Northtown won the third game, 21 to nothing. And in the last game, was a high score of 41 to 13 Northtown's win. And now, here's Allen with the starting offense. Kicking off for Northtown will be Kevin Kelly. There's opening kickoff and Crognally takes it now for Bishop Kenrick. He gets up to about the 30 yard line before he's stopped by the Northtown defense. Starting offense now for Bishop Henner here. In the backfield, we've got number three, a quarterback, Ted Riquette. And we'll give you the rest in just a second. And there's a fumble here as uh, Riquette drops the snap from center, but he falls on it. They lose about two yards on the play, so it's going to be second down and around 12 to go now for Kenrick. Of course, Bishop Kenrick does does run the wishbone offense here. Oh, we have also have a penalty on the play. It's going to be offsides on Narstown. So it's going to be first down now and only five yards to go for Bishop Henrik. Also in the backfield, along with the starting quarterback, Ted Riquette for Bishop Henrik, will be number 25, the left halfback, Gino Cragnali. Number 44, John Parmenian, will be the right halfback. And number 20, Jim McLaughlin, will be the fullback. They hand off now to Carmini, and he's stopped by Northtown. No gain on the play. And once again, now there's a mistake here on the handoff, and it's a fumble, and Northtown recovers it. So a key turnover here for Bishop Kendrick here early in the game, John, just like what happened in the first game of the season. Yes, that was a big problem in that game. They outrushed and outpassed Bishop Carroll, but the turnovers just, they lost the turnover. In the backfield for Norristown will be Scott Livingston. He's their quarterback, and there's a handoff, and Darden is stopped with no gain. Okay, Livingston rolls out. He looks at the pitch out, but there he's tackled by number 49 now on the Bishop Henrik defense, Mark Bellamy. Third down and 14. Obvious passing down here, and as a result, number 11, Tyler Smith now has entered the game for Narstown. Livingston, so much for the obvious passing down here as Livingston rolls into the middle and only picks up one yard before he's swarmed by the Bishop Henrik defense. 
Running for North Town was Kevin Kelly. And there's a penalty flag on the field. There seems to be a bit of confusion about the penalty down on the field. is against Norristown and so once again Kelly has to punt. And number 20 Jim McLaughlin took it at just the last minute but there he's sacked by or taken down by Jim Walton. McLaughlin will run back no game. <laughs> Kelly punt number 32 yards. Jacoby for three yards. Jacoby coming out through a hole in the line moves, runs for three yards. <laughs> Okay, once again there, they had a misplay on the snap here as Raquette finally got the ball, handed it off to McLaughlin for Kenrick, but he was tackled there by number 85 of Narstown, Joe Walton. Third down now, and eight yards to go here. Raquette hands it, and it's another fumble here. It's another misplay on the snap. Kendrick's really seeming to have a lot of trouble with these misplayed balls early, or usually on the late downs, too. That's going to be fourth down and 11 here as Kendrick's going to go back to punt. Punting for Bishop Kendrick will be number 30, Chris Mash. Kelly and Darden now are back for Narstown. And Darden slips, so it's, the ball goes by him, and it's going to be put down now by number 33, Bruce Pillory. At around the 34-yard line. Hand off to Tolliver, and he's tackled after about a one-yard gain. He was stopped by Kane. Scott Livingston, a laterals back to number 23, Dwight Darden, who gets the first down. 
Joe Kane on the tackle. On first down, first down lines up. That rolls back to Darden again. He's having a little trouble this time and no gain. Bonaducci brings him down. One yard gain. Second down. It's a handoff to Darden. And it looks like he's going to go all the way. Just to the first score for Northtown. Northtown six, Henrik nothing. Dwight Darden runs for 46 yards. A 53-yard gain on the play. Kelly for the extra point. Kelly kicks for Norristown and no good, no good. No good, off to the left. There's a flag on the play. Roughing the kick against Kenny. Northtown's going to get a kick again. And this time the kick is good, and the score is 7 to nothing. Northtown leading. There's around six minutes left in the first quarter. Kevin Kelly to kick off. Forty four Tamina is going to receive. Kelly to kick off for North Bass and Carfagno are also back there. And Carfagno. Almost catches the ball, bounces off his fingers, and they get very little yardage gain. It'll be first down on the 20 yard line. Tamino on the run, number 44. He gains about five yards. Five yard gain to the tackle, Terry. The North Town line stops the run for no gain. <laughs> Two 
coming in now for uh, Bishop Kenner will be number 11, Tim Korbrinski. He's the split end for the Kenrick squad. Here as it's third down, three yards to go with Narstown leading seven to nothing. Briquette now hands off to number 24 for Kenrick, Richard Bass. Bass only picks up a couple of yards here. So it's going to be fourth down here. Kenrick's going to go back to punt now. Punting for Kenrick will be Chris Mash once again. His last punt went only 23 yards. Back for Narstown will be number 21, Kevin Kelly, along with number 23, Dwight Darden. And the ball bounces. It takes a Narstown bounce, and it's down on the 45-yard line by, by Rob Heck of Bishop Kenrick. So the Narstown offense comes back here on the field. Four minutes, eight seconds to go here in the first quarter with Narstown leading seven to nothing. Okay, Livingston, a quarterback for Norristown. He goes out, rolls out now to his right. He's immediately pressured by Kenrick Tacklers, and he's sacked back at the 32-yard line. So it's going to be a 13-yard loss that time now for Norristown. So it's going to be... And he was brought down by number 65 of the Bishop Kenrick defense, Dave Jetty. We've got a substitution here now for Narstown. Number 42, George Hadrick has come in to play wide receiver. So second and 23 here. Darden and Tolliver once again in the backfield for Narstown. Livingston takes it, and he gives up to uh, Darden on the draw play, and Darden gets up, uh, up to the 45-yard line. 13-yard pickup now by Dwight Darden of Narstown, so it's going to be third down and 10 yards to go. And the tackle that time was made by Bishop Hendricks, Rob Heck. Darden's really been rushing excellently today so far. He's already scored that 153-yard one for the touchdown earlier. Well, obviously, Darden's probably one of the fastest players on Narstown's squad, and he's able to pick up the holes and get to them quick. And with that acceleration, he's got an advantage over... And, of course, Jack Ash, the Bishop Henry coach, said they'd have to work out uh, their problems against Narstown speed. So third and ten here. Livingston takes the snap. He drops back to pass now. Not much pressure. He goes over the middle. Number 85, Joe Walden. Walden gets a hand on it, but it's over his head. So it's incomplete. So it's going to be fourth down now for Narstown. And on comes the punting squad. First handling the punting now for Narstown is going to be number 21, Kevin Kelly. Going back to receive now for Bishop Kenrick will be number 31, Joe Harvey. Or excuse me, we've got a correction there. We've got number 24, Richard Bass. And number 25, Gino Prognelli, deep. Kelly punts it now to the right. And it goes to Bass. Bass takes it. It's on 23, and he fumbles, and there's also a flag down on the play. We're going to see what the official decision here. It was probably a clip now. That's right, we have a clip, but it's on Kenrick. So that's going to move the ball backwards now for Kenrick, and another penalty hurts their opening drive here. So for Kenrick, it's going to be first down on their 11-yard line. So two minutes, seven seconds to go here in the first quarter. Narstown, on the strength of Dwight Darden's 53-yard run earlier in the game, leads Kenrick here by a 7-0 score. And in on the tackle was Dave Salvo. And assisting on it also was Harry Davis, number 35. And we've got 
refs uh, blowing the whistle here already on the play. The play has been stopped. And we have offsides now on Norristown. So it's going to be third down and two yards to go here for Kenrick. Officials move the ball now up to Kenrick's 25-yard line, where it's third and two. Burkett gives it now to number 24, John Termin, or excuse me, number 24 is uh, Mike Samuel. We have a major correction there on the play. Number 24 was Richard Bass carrying the ball for Kendrick, and he's tackled by Samuels, number 30 of Narstown. So Kendrick picks up enough yardage here for first down. And we've got another play here with a penalty on it. And it's apparently going to be against Kendrick. Another correction here is that penalty also went against Narstown. So Narstown's done more for Bishop Kenrick's drive on this series of plays than Kenrick has at the moment. Penalty against Narstown. So the ball's being moved up now to Kenrick's 30-yard line. It's going to be first down and 10. Uh, the penalty was failure to require to wear required equipment. And also now we're going to have another offside play being called on. Norristown again. These penalties are really helping the Kenrick drive. It's really hard to believe that Norristown will let this happen. It's also the third time now in the ball game, and we're only in the first quarter that Norristown's been caught offside defensively. Could that have something to do, Alan, do you think, with the morale? Well, obviously, they're playing very aggressive as Raquette here gets out of the backfield and throws up now on the left sideline. Nice play that time to request. The tackle was made by number 21, Kevin Kelly, and receiving the pass was number 24 for Bishop Henrik, Richard Bass. It'll be second down and three. Request to Bass, eight yards. Tackled by Kelly. Second down on around the 44-yard line. And that time it was a handoff to Richard Bass again, and he gets up there around the 46-yard line. And we have it. And Coach Grove comes out on the field. Bass up the middle to three yards. Now Coach Hash is out on the field talking with the Kenrick squad. I'm sure that Coach Grove isn't too happy with the way his defense has been going off sides here three times now in this last series of plays. Well, according to the clock, we've got one second left to go here in the first quarter. And third down, one yard to go now for Kenrick. Now Grove leaves the field. Quarterback sneak that time by Raquet and he picks up the one yard needed for the first down here. So it'll be first down and ten as the first quarter runs out. And the first quarter is 